Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gadebia Palace today His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Royal Highness has highlighted Bahrain's progress in multiple fields under His Majesty the King's National Action Progress Plan, reiterating the government's intent to adapt programmes and pledge resources to boost the nation's accomplishments and serve the citizens. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince reviewed blooming developmental activities and the government-led modernisation effort to develop various regions in the Kingdom to meet a citizens' aspirations. The Royal Highness has also stressed the government's ongoing comprehensive review of the quality and sufficiency of the services provided to citizens across Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Qadabiya Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The cabinet supported the second joint statement of the quartet in affirming the need to uphold to the six principles set in the Cairo meeting and the importance of Qatar's adherence to the 13 demands to strengthen the fight against terrorism. The Cabinet hailed the valued efforts of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud, regarding the Al Aqsa crisis, which was resulted in the lifting of all restrictions set by Israel on the holy mosque. The Cabinet added that this indicates the keenness of the custodian of the two holy mosques to preserve sacred Islamic places and reflects the international recognition of the role of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in defending Arab and Islamic issues. The Cabinet strongly condemned the attempts of Houthi militias to target Mecca with missiles, denouncing this heinous act, which is considered a violation of Muslims and a vain attempt to negatively affect the Hajj season. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister then directed a review of the needs of the citizens in Sitra and al Naba Saleh regarding municipality facilities and health, education and youth services. The Cabinet here at the launch of Governmental Services Development Project and the commencement of its first stage, which includes 14 services, based on the Memorandum of the Coordination Committee, headed by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister. The Cabinet added nine entities and nine individuals to the list of terrorist groups designated by the joint statement issued by Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and Egypt, to its previously approved list of terrorist individuals and organisations listed in Bahrain in the light of the memorandum submitted by the Minister of Interior. 
the individuals are from Qatar, Khalid Saeed Abu Inin, Shaka Jima Al Shawani, Salah bin Ahmed Al Ghanin from Kuwait, Hamid Hamid Al Ali from Yemen, Abdullah Muhammad Al Yazidi, Ahmed Ali Ahmed Baroud, Mohammed Baka Al Zaba from Libya, Al Sadi Abdullah Ibrahim bin Kazim, Ahmed Abdul Jalil Al Hazwani, and the entities from Yemen, Al Bala Charitable Foundation. Al Essa Charitable Society, Rahma Charitable Organization, from Libya, Benghazi Revolutionary Shura Council, Asarara Media Center, Boshra News Agency, Rafala Sahati Brigade, Naba TV, Tanasi Foundation for Dawa, Culture and Media. The Cabinet approved the introduction of a new activity within the list of licenses for public transport activities under the name of Smart Public Transport Application Services and approved a draft resolution issued by the Minister of Communication in this regard. The Cabinet follow up with the activation of agreement treaties, mem memorandums of understanding with executive programmes between Bahrain and friendly countries as well as international and regional organisations. The Cabinet approved an executive programme for cooperation on environmental issues be between the Supreme Council for Environment and the United States of America for the years 2017 to 2021. The Cabinet reviewed a statistical presentation of decisions and recommendations issued by the Municipal Councils and the Capital Secretariat Council. The Cabinet referred a draft law to replace Article 32 of Decree Law No. 32 for the year 2002 on the General Budget to the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet discussed a number of proposals by the Representatives Council regarding Bahraini workers' temporary contracts a museum in Maharik and support to the Rohingya and approved the government's response to these proposals in the light of the, of the recommendation submitted by the Ministerial Committee on Legal Affairs. As part of the efforts of the Coordination Committee headed by the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to provide high quality government services that impact on both citizens and residents. The Cabinet approved a memorandum submitted by the Coordination Committee regarding the start of the first phase of the project to development governmental services, which includes 14 services, aiming to improve the quality and increase fairness in their providing. In the first phase, the project includes a range of services, including the annual renewal of vehicle registration certificate, the booking service for the driving exam, the delivery of electricity and water services, the medical examination of expatriates, and other government services that directly deal with a number of government sectors, such as the Ministry of Interior, the Electricity and Water Authority, and the Information Authority and e-government. The project delivers significant improvements in cost, time spent, service delivery and quality. It also includes understanding the structure of government services and the development of e-culture successfully, with the goal of improving processes and ensuring that government services are maintained at an ongoing pace of quality and efficiency. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee and Captain of the Bahrain Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed pride in the positive outcomes in the Royal Endurance Team continues to gain in participation in France, following rider Mohamed Abdel Samad's achievement of first place in the French Lingier race. His Highness congratulated the rider and all team members on this outcome. He added that the Royal Team has demonstrated its one team spirit throughout the linear race, which witnessed wide participation by high ranking riders from across the globe, who have displayed strong competitiveness. His Highness Sheikh Nasser asserted that the Royal Team's determination to continue achieving honourable results from its forthcoming overseas participations in order to consolidate the King's Kingdom's position in the international sports arena. The Arabian Gulf riders gained the top three positions in the race. Second place was won by rider. Ali Talib Al Farsi of the Omani Royal Cavalry Endurance Team, and in third place came Saudi rider Tariq Tahar. 